Hi Leo, it's Powerline Tarot coming at you with a love reading, and this love reading is Love and Desire. And this can be uh, for singles or couples, although most of these readings, I feel like they all are for couples. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and with that being said, uh, this could be about somebody returning too though, right? So yeah, let's get into the reading. And from the Enchanted Map Oracle is Cleaning House. Yeah, this is like a breakup here. Mountain, Stormfields, and Coming to Life. So right now, you are, uh, I feel like you are decluttering and you are letting people uh, go from your life that have been uh, kind of dirtying your environment. Maybe and in whatever capacity, right? Maybe they just aren't serving you. Uh, maybe there is deception. Maybe there is uh, just kind of maybe discontentment between two people. We're going to find out here. But cleaning house is about decluttering, right? And kind of getting rid of things or people in our life that are no good for us. Mountain, the mountain here is interesting. It just talks about that you have the uh, ability to be kind of like a, a, a chameleon or you can you can flow around anything here. Uh, basically, it is telling you you can adapt to any situation. It is kind of giving you your wings a little bit uh, to kind of leave a situation. Storm feels because right now you are in a storm. Yeah, you are. This card almost looks like a Dorothy in Kansas, all right? And this is, if this was yellow, she would be kind of trying to go down the yellow brick road, right? And let's see here, coming to life. I feel like you have something really good coming to life here, but you are going in a storm right now. Okay, Leo, so let's see what that is about. And, uh, yeah, and let's get a couple cards uh, from the... Uh, Lenormand here. I just want to see here what's going on with this Lenormand. Just, uh, I usually do one or the other, but I just feel like for some same reason it's telling me to pull these cards. Let's see what we got for Leo in love, alright? Leo in the game of love, alright, Leo? What, is, what can be said for Leo in love, please, with the game of hope? The dog. The owls, oops, the child, the woman, okay, this is like the third party woman for me, it usually is, okay, unless maybe you kind of have a look like this, there's nothing wrong with this lady, how she looks, she's an attractive lady, but she is the naked one looking out the window, she looks like she's waiting for her lover, right, she has all her makeup on, the fox, yeah, there's deception here. And definitely, and also the other woman. So yeah, this is clear here. You are in a situation here where there is another man or another woman here. And for most of you, it is another woman, okay? And most of the listeners are women anyway. But there are men, right? Of course there are. But there's definitely, uh, with the fox in the middle, guys, there is deception here. And you're decluttering here, Leo. You are. Your, your person could be doing that too, though, because this is kind of a dual, a joint reading, rather, all right? It is. And there's a child to be considered, I feel, for some of you that is clear. Maybe you're dealing with somebody super immature. I don't usually read that card that way. I feel like it is about somebody who who has a child to consider. You could be, you know, with this mountain, it could be telling you are able to adapt to any situation. Uh, and the owls can be here talking about, you know, watch out for signs. It doesn't have to be always red flags. Watch out for, like, signs of wisdom, signs to help you with your situation. Yeah, it could be any kind of signs. This could be a dream. It could be, uh, you could see maybe somebody in the street that kind of, uh, I'm not sure, kind of tips you off or reminds you of something that is going to help you adapt to a situation because there's definite, there's another woman here, right? And there is somebody who is loyal, right? It could be the person who you have a child with. It's possible but the dog talks about loyalty. Yes, it does. And this could be you, Leo. Uh, hopefully it is you. All right. Let's see how we go here. No judgment here if that is not you. <laughs> uh, for Leo, we have... Let's see here. I feel like these are in the reverse. Mm -hmm. Wow. Eight of Wands. Ace of Cups, Nine of Swords, wow, I think Aries just had the Nine of Swords in the same, in the same placement, same place, yeah, 
And I'm going to move these cards over here. Mm -hmm. And this woman was over here next to the fox. <laughs> Let's see what we got. And your person, Leo, is the death card. <laughs> they could be a Scorpio, right? But they could be like, yeah, I feel like they're going through an ending and they're walking their own path here. Maybe you're giving them the boot here. The Emperor, it could be an Aries here, Eight of Cups, is showing up for them. And this is the root for them. Yeah, it is. And what they want is the Ace of Swords. Okay, so I feel like they either want clarity or victory. That is, that is clear. The Moon card is there for you, Leo. Why does Leo have the Moon card? Hierophant in the reverse. Wow, you could be wanting a water sign here who is... Uh, and you could be wanting a union here, maybe, but this could be saying that uh, this is not the desired position. This is the energy that you are in. It could just be saying here that you are confused about a union. Mm -hmm. Eight of Pentacles. And I feel like what this is saying here, you could be in a situation, you could be maybe being deceptive right now. You could. But I feel like what this is saying here is that you figured out that somebody was deceptive here or that your union is done, right? Mm-hmm. You could have waited maybe to make a decision too because this could be you. Uh, maybe you are going to another party. It's just going to depend here. Mm -hmm. And crossing you is the Eight of Wands. Why does Leo have the Eight of Wands? This is change most likely. Mm -hmm. And this could be, uh, you have this, this could be good change coming to life, right? You could. Hermit, you could be dealing with a Virgo. And the Temperance card, wow, it could be a Sagittarian here as well. Uh, maybe not, we'll see here. Knight of Cups. I feel like what's crossing you, there could be, for some of you guys, what's crossing you is a third party with a, a Virgo and a Sagittarian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Ace of Cups is why it's all happening for you. Why is the Ace of Cups there? Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Wow. And the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. You're letting somebody go here because of another union. That's what you're doing here. Mm -hmm. Somebody could have let you go. Mm -hmm. Because maybe you have another union here. It's just going to depend. That's how we say. Because they're generals. Okay. Nine of Swords is in your recent past. This is you most likely though in this... Uh, anxiety and stress over a union. Why is that Nine of Swords there, please? Ace of Pentacles. And sorry, I keep sniffing judgment. You could have been really stressed out about making a decision, or you could have been stressed out here because somebody made one against you, right? Like somebody's choosing somebody else. I feel like that's what that is because the seven of pentacles in the reverse can mean like, it can mean like you're looking at a situation here like you didn't, you know, it didn't serve you. Like it didn't work in your favor at all. Like you kind of like look at it like, wow, um, it turned out like really bad, like for me, right? Like that was a bad decision I made. It's a possibility. And with cleaning house, you could be like, like getting rid of this person. Why do they have judgment? Or why does Leo have judgment? Beg your pardon, guys. Devil. Could, yeah, you're trying, you're feeling really stuck about some situation here. Mm -hmm. About a decision that was made against you, or maybe about making a judgment here. Somebody could be returning to somebody here, too. Yeah, that could be the case. Because judgment is here, and it talks about a rebirth. Mm-hmm. Somebody is, like, with somebody else for sure. The Both of the women are here in this deck, right? And there can never be two queens in a house, right? We know that, right? You can never have, uh, <laughs> unless it is you and your mom, and, you know, you are a woman. You could live with your mother, maybe. But uh, that's if you're older and you guys have a good relationship. But, like, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a, it's a, I'm just being a little, just have a little bit of fun here. Yeah. But let's get a card on the Queen of Cups is in the reverse. And this could be you in the past. You could have been really depressed here. You could have been, right? Because the Queen of Cups in the reverse can be a water sign who is, you know, kind of uh, causing... This could be this person over here, like this other woman, right? It could be. It could be Aries, I mean, it could be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. 
And it could be anybody. The Queen of Cups in the reverse can be like a real hoochie. It's a possibility. She could be somebody who drinks a lot. It could be somebody who's really jealous. And somebody who is having a hard time with their emotional health. It can. Because the Queen of Cups is all about emotions. And she's in when she's in the reverse, it could depend. Let's get their energy and find out. But the... Ten of Cups is crying your thoughts, Leo. This is kind of a little bit of an interesting read here. I feel like it is. Why is the Ten of Cups crowning Leo's thoughts? Why is that Ten of Cups there, please, for Leo? Five of Wands in the reverse. Queen of Swords in the reverse. Are these in the reverse? Yeah, they're all in the reverse. Sorry, guys. Yeah, they are. Sorry. I'm really bad at that. Yeah, Five of Wands, Queen of Swords. I feel like crowning your thoughts here, uh, Leo, is the fact that uh, you can't, it, it could, you could be, maybe it's really hard for you to discern a matter because the Seven of, like, figure it out, the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse is like, sometimes it is not being able to make a decision and sometimes it is already having made one. Yeah. I feel like you're making one right now. Cleaning house. And crowning your thoughts. You could have been really pissed off here maybe. Or you could have been really. Like you could be really trying to discern a matter. You could be. You could be still decluttering right. Letting go of somebody. Mm -hmm. But in the same. You know. By the same token. You could be really trying to discern it right. I mean this is what we do right. Sometimes. If we feel we really have to let somebody go. We. You're not going to sit around and go, well, what about that, that, that? And you're just like, well, I have to do this, right? Mm -hmm. Because of X, Y, and Z. So let's go back to your energy. I just want to see here. Uh, I want to add to the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like it is not uh, complete. Why is the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse for Leo? Yeah, I feel like you are definitely confused here. It's a possibility there's a water sign here, right? But it is about like a breakup here. Or a union or something here that is affecting your union, right? Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. That's kind of more of the same. And the Six of Cups. I feel like you're, you're dealing with somebody from the past or somebody is, or the other person is. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Let's get a card of the Queen of Swords. Crowning your thoughts. You're trying to discern a matter. Yeah, you are about a third party and another union. Yeah, I feel like you. This could. The Seven of Pentacles in the reverse is you are unable to. Yes, and you're confused. You're confused about somebody from the past, or you are confused about a union here because you have kids. Six of Cups. Because remember, the child is showing up in the Lenormand, right? Yes. The pretty child, too. They're all pretty, right? Why is that Queen of Swords there, especially at that age? Why is the Queen of Swords there? <coughs> Three of Pentacles. You're just trying to discern here uh, a third party. This is simple. Excuse me. Let's get one more card on that Three of Pentacles. Why is that there for Leo? Why is the Three of Pentacles there for Leo? Seven of Swords. Yeah, you're trying to discern a matter where there is deception, for sure. The fox is showing up, right? The fox looks just like the Seven of Swords, right? One's an animal, one's a man. <laughs> okay, so your person is in the death energy. It could be a Scorpio. Why is that death card there? They could be, because the Queen of Cups is in this reading. Yes, Judgment is Scorpio. The death card is Scorpio. Mm-hmm. Justice, Page of Cups. Wow. This can be like a divorce, big time. The Death card and Justice. They could be getting a divorce because they're giving their cup to somebody else. And you could be decluttering. You could be letting them go. Mm -hmm. And in a storm. Mm -hmm. And something could be coming to life. Maybe, and you know, I like to say this card is for you, Leo, but it might be for your person. 
because I've seen plenty of readings like that. Yes, even my own, right? Yeah, that, that I do, that for myself and for my friends. And so that card could be, like, you could be ending it with somebody, and it could, they could be, like, there could be a union that is coming to life that they are, like, moving toward because of third-party energy, right? Let's get a card here on the Page of Cups. Why is that Page of Cups there, please? King of Swords. It's in the reverse. I'm going to take it. And they could also be, wow, and the King of Swords in the reverse can be, it's just really interesting here, because it can be a liar. It can be somebody who cannot make a decision as well, right? Yeah, somebody who's kind of weak with the sword and, or uh, deceptive. I'm going to say that it is about deception because of the fox and the seven of swords. And you look like you're trying to discern a matter here. Uh-huh, Leo. You look like you're trying to discern a matter. I feel like this is you definitely decluttering. Yes. As for coming to life, I'm not sure yet. There, I mean, it doesn't really matter. It, this is clear that there is another union, I feel like, that is coming to life. And this is why you're, I feel like you're giving your person the boot. And you could have been really loyal with them. Yeah, you could have been really loyal to them. And there could be a child involved. <coughs> Excuse me. And for some of you guys, you could be dealing with a situation where somebody has another baby somewhere else. That could be the case. Because the child is next to the kind of third-party lady. Mm-hmm. Wow. And the fox, they are together. And the other woman who is like, in, in, for me, she is the nicer woman, the woman who's like married and not, not doing anything wrong. <laughs> and she's looking at the fox. I'm going to show you these guys, these cards. Because sometimes the with the Lenormand, the uh, the order is really important. It is. In fact, the order is like key. Mm -hmm. Unless you have ten deceptive cards together, <laughs> then we don't really need the order so much, right? Because we just we can tell. But the Lenormand doesn't have ten deceptive cards, but they have a few. Yeah, they do, and. Uh, I feel like two of them are already here. <coughs> right? Out of four cards. This woman is looking at the fox. The fox is looking back at the third party lady for me. And there is a child on the other side. <coughs> so for some of you, this is exactly what is going on. Alright? And I feel like your person, they, they're live here. I feel like that's what this is. They are the deceptive person. that You could be dealing possibly, Leo, with an air sign, right? That could be, it could be a Libra here. King of Swords, Justice card right here. But your person could be going through an ending, a divorce here. Yeah, there could, for some of you guys, this is about a marriage. The Hierophant is here. The child is here. And Justice is here. So for some, there is a real marriage here, all right? I mean, I don't know how many of you people are out there are really married, right? How would I know? Um, yeah, I'm not taking demographics, all right? Let's get a card on the King of Swords. Let's see what we got. Why is that King of Swords there? Judgment. It's possible your person can't make a decision to get a divorce here. <coughs> I feel like really that they lied here. Mm -hmm. They lied here and they're going through an ending or a divorce. That's what I think. And I feel like you are, you could be getting rid of them, uh, cleaning house. Why is the judgment card there? Why is that judgment card there, please? It could be a Scorpio here for sure. We see judgment and the death card here. Mm -hmm. Ace of Cups. This is really about a decision. Third party. Wow. Six of Swords. And your person, it's possible they can't make a decision here if they really want a divorce here, or maybe if they want to, uh, or they want somebody else, or they want to give their, they want somebody else, or they want an ending. It could be, that could be it. Mm -hmm. They look like they're trying to make a decision here. King of Swords, Judgment. 
And this could also be saying they are kind of experiencing an ending, a uh, cleaning house over there, right? Experiencing an ending because they were deceptive, and they have another union. The Page of Wands is more of their energy. Why is that Page of Wands there for Leo's person? The World card and the Page of Cups. Mm -hmm. They have like they have another ending. I mean, they have another union here for sure. Mm -hmm. And it's possible the Six of Cups card is showing up for you, Leo, in your overall energy. Your person could be having a rebirth with somebody from the past. Like they could be giving somebody a, a second chance from someone from their past. And this. Coming to life card can talk about a reunion or a rebirth or a renewal, however you like to say it. The emperor is what's crossing them. Why is the emperor crossing Leo's person? Wheel of Fortune. Could be a Sagittarian here for sure. We see temperance here crossing you. It could be a Taurus in this reading. I feel like there is a Virgo or possibly a Sagittarian. There's a lot of people here, though. There is. Queen of Cups is here, too. She could simply be a person who is, like, in a bad way emotionally. Mm -hmm. And this could be you, Leo. It could be. It's a possibility here. And you, Leo, you could be making a decision for some of you guys to go back to somebody from your past. You could be doing that. I feel like you are more confused here or in fear here about another union. Nine of Swords, Nine of Swords, anxiety in your recent past. Big time anxiety. So over here in your persons, what is crossing them here is the Emperor, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Nine of Pentacles. Why do they have the Nine of Pentacles? They look like they are trying to set themselves up to be single. And see, there is a, I feel like there is a divorce here for some of you guys, a real one. And I also think that uh, you could just be ending it with them. This is You're, you're giving somebody the boot here. Mm -hmm. And they are kind of, you're giving them the boot because they're giving somebody a second chance here. That's what's happening here. Uh, for many of you, the star card and the lovers is in the reverse. Wow. This is four major arcana with five cards. This is the root for them. Or this is crossing them. Yeah, this is different from your uh, energy here. This is crossing them. There's a breakup here. And they could be... Uh, yeah, I feel like they are... Uh... I feel like they are uh, re reuniting with somebody and they're becoming single. And they are, because you're, you're like, you're getting a divorce. That's how it looks. It could go the other way. Or you are ending it. The Eight of Cups is the root for them. This is why it's all happening. They are leaving for sure. They have the Six of Swords and the Eight of Cups, both. Eight of Swords, wow. Nine of Swords. This is why it's all happening. You could be leaving to be with somebody else. It can go either way. But it, it looks like here that you are, like, you're giving them the boot. Yeah, and they're upset. This is how this looks here. And the Ace of Swords is what they want. Why do they desire the Ace of Swords? Let's see. We're going to find everything out in the extended. Yeah, we are. I have even changed it a little bit to be more uh, kind of detailed. And the Two of Cups and the Ace of Wands. This is what they want. They want victory here. Yeah, they do. For sure. Mm -hmm. They could be upset because you're leaving here. Wow. And they could just be leaving and leaving you upset here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because this is the route for them mm -hmm. over here. Yep. Yep. Let's see what they want. Four of Pentacles, yeah, they want to hold on to somebody. Yes, they do here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're getting it. Yeah, as, as I was saying, you are divorcing them. Queen of Wands. So they are the Queen of Wands, or they want this Queen of Wands. 
We're going to find out a lot more about your person, okay? Uh, Shady Sarah, all right, whoever she is, Leo. <laughs> and whoever, whoever he is, right? Yeah. And we're going to go over to Vimeo, and we are going to talk all about your person here. And we're going to talk about what is crowning their thoughts, how they really feel about you or the situation. The dynamic, the current dynamic, what, what could be unknown about them. Or what they might be hiding. Um, I feel like you know a lot about them, but let's see. I feel like they are very deceptive here. What they want, uh, one more time, I really want to clarify this, and what they are fearing and the future for you guys. Okay, thank you so much, guys. All the extendeds are super affordable. Yes, they are. If you got a message here, please give a thumbs up. And if you want your own reading, uh, that is always the best way, hands down, right? Thank you so much, guys.